Hello viewers, uh, this is Nobel Shah once again welcome you all to my tutorials. Today I am going to discuss about Office 2010 Outlook Express. Well, um, many users actually know how to use Outlook Express, uh, but unfortunately they do not have idea how to configure Outlook Express. As a result, they have to go to the professionals to configure the Outlook Express in their machine. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to configure and how to uh, create um, connections with Outlook Express uh, so that you can send and receive emails through Outlook Express. The people who do not have idea about Out Outlook Express, let me explain what is Outlook Express. Outlook Express is nothing but an email program. Uh, but the advantage of this email program is that you can configure it in your local machine and uh, anytime you can use it well uh, maybe you do not have internet connection at this moment but still you can um, go to your Outlook Express and you can check your existing emails Ob obviously you cannot send emails at this time but uh, at the time you get your internet connection and you are ready to go uh, you can send your emails and another thing is uh, for the corporate persons who have a corporate email address uh, they always use Outlook Express or Eudora to uh, send or receive emails mm, uh, corporate emails mm, normally do not have a such big space uh, for their email account so they actually need to have uh, Outlook Express so that all the mails uh, they receive immediately uh, transferred to their local machine and uh, their email account space can be free all the time. Uh, obviously your company will not give you a big space uh, for your email account so we uh, really need Outlook Express or Eudora to uh, use those email addresses. So in this lesson, we will uh, actually learn how to configure Outlook Express first. So let me uh, open my Outlook Express options, which is Microsoft Outlook Express 2010. If you are using Windows 7, you can get it uh, in your start menu. Once you installed Office 2010, uh, I'm using Windows 8 machine. And in my start screen, I can see the Outlook Express uh, Outlook 2010 option just click the Outlook 10 because it is freshly installed the Outlook Express will open for the first time and when first time you start the Outlook Express it will look like this uh, well it is uh, asking to configure the Outlook Express account and we are just doing this just click the next button click next once again and from this window auto account setup just I'm, I'm skipping this option I'm going to manually configure the server settings or additional server types so just select this option which is manually configure server settings or additional server types just click next button and then just click next once again uh, here I am using uh, I am just selecting the internet email which is connect to pop or IMAP server to send and receive email messages alternatively you can choose the other two options if you are using other options like if you are using Microsoft Exchange server or some text messaging systems but in this uh, lesson we are just using standard uh, internet connections and just click the next button well here you can specify the name well like my name is novel s a h a shaha and the email address the address your company provided to you uh, in my case which is novel at pttcbd.com and then account type just leave this uh, intact do not change account type it will be pop3 and in incoming mail server you specify the in incoming mail server address which is in my case mail dot 
pttcbd.com and the outgoing server is also in my case mail.pttcbd.com well what will be your incoming mail server and what will be your outgoing mail server uh, that is actually uh, provided by your internet service provider if you uh, do not have any idea just ask your internet service provider what is the incoming mail server address and what is the outgoing mail server address once you get it just type this here once again login information just select uh, type your email address which is in my case novel at pttcbd.com and obviously supply the password for the account well this is the password uh, that you get from your company when uh, the company administrator uh, created uh, email account for you uh, he or she have supplied the password so this is the password you have to write here Well, uh, before clicking the next button, you have an option which is test account settings. So you need to verify the test account settings option to verify whether successfully the receiving and sending options working or not. Well, click the test account settings and here we can see the log into onto incoming mail server completed. I am getting the right tick which is my sending options and receiving options both options working properly well you can see the status completed completed well if you see that your pop 3 is completed and your uh, send test email message is not completed uh, means that you can mm, receive the email but you cannot send any emails and if you see that your uh, first option which is pop 3 is correct completed no problem then you can receive emails but uh, the second if the second option is not completed you cannot send messages as i said earlier so to uh, work both your incoming and outgoing both this option must be completed just click the close button once it is finished and click the next option once again it is checking whether the receiving and sending option is uh, properly configured or not click close and click well you can see the congratulations message means everything successfully completed and just click the finish button well okay so our outlook configuration has been completed successfully well this message is uh, popping up just because i am uh, using this outlook outlook express for the first time well i am receiving some messages from my inbox well my goodness lots of messages uh, actually receiving from my uh, from my inbox well doesn't matter now as uh, you can see the all the mails all the emails uh, from your company email address account is receiving to your local machine means anytime anytime you can check these emails and if you want to create any email you can go to the new email message options and you can create a new email and if you do not have internet connection uh, at this moment you can 
make it a draft and once the internet connection comes you can send it uh, well this is the this is actually very 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 uh, useful uh, software from microsoft office 2010 um, without login to internet you can anytime check your emails from the outlook express well obviously the existing emails not the new ones well for today uh, that is uh, it actually uh, in my next video i will discuss how to use uh, the outlook express uh, so you guys take care and just wait more for my next video till then bye bye